Hi, this is problem 14 from the 2021 AMC 12B. Suppose that P, Q, and R of Z are polynomials with real coefficients having degrees 2, 3, and 6 in constant terms 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Let n be the number of distinct complex numbers Z that satisfy the equation shown. What is the minimum possible value of n? All right, so this is a lot of information to keep track of, so let me try to organize this a little bit. So P, Q, and R have degrees 2, 3, and 6. So let me write that in red. And it has constant terms 1, 2, and 3. Let me write that in blue. So to reiterate, P, Z has const or degree 2. Q, Z has degree 3. R, Z, degree 6. And constant terms 1, 2, two and three. So let me write this equation in a more standard form, something that equals zero. So let me write this as r sub z minus p sub z q sub z equaling zero. So this would be a polynomial that I'll call t sub z. And again, r sub z has degree 6. The product of these two will have degree 5. The difference will have degree 6. The constant term for r sub z is 3. The constant term for this product would be 1 times 2 is 2. The difference would give a constant term of 1 for t sub z. All right, so we're going to try to figure out what's the minimum number of distinct complex numbers that satisfy this equation. Now, since this is a six order equation, I know that it has to have at least one root. So I know that A can't be the correct answer, but uh, it could be one, two, three, or five. So let me try to chew on this list from the left side and see, can I form a polynomial T sub Z that has a constant term of 1, a degree of 6, that has only one distinct complex root. So what would that look like? That would look something like this. So the question is, can we form a T sub Z that looks like this? Now, R sub Z has six free coefficients that I could jiggle. P sub z has two free coefficients, and Q sub z has three free coefficients. So all totaled, I have 11 free coefficients to try to form this T sub z. So I know that the answer to this question is probably yes. I can probably form a polynomial of this form, but uh, let me see if I can make that a little more certain. Let me see if I can actually form such a polynomial. So how might I do that? So if I choose r sub z to have this form plus some extra terms that I'm just going to subtract in the formation of t sub z, maybe that's the right approach. So what if I let r sub z equal t sub z plus some extra terms that I'm just going to subtract in this expression? So the terms that I would add is something that would look like p sub z. So that would be a polynomial of degree 2 with constant 1. So that would be something like z squared plus 1. And q sub z would be a polynomial of degree 3 with constant 2. So that would look something like that. So again, this is the t sub z that we're trying to form. This would be the p sub z q sub z that we're going to subtract. And when we do that subtraction, we will, in fact, end up with just t sub z to form this final expression. So that's uh, the proof in the pudding. And uh, we can actually form t sub z, which has only one distinct complex number z as a root for choice b.